Hi, good morning. Can I give you some information, please? That way you can know your choices and make an educated decision. you heard right well then hear this please and remember these are only scientific and medical facts nothing else involved all right a baby's heart is beating at only three weeks after conception and um, brain waves can be measured at six weeks six six weeks after conception and a baby can move and respond to touch and suck her tongue at only eight weeks what do you think about that wow You were told that they are non persons right? Yes. I didn't know there was a human being already. By definition, humanity and personhood go hand in hand, and developing humans in the womb having strictly personal and uh, a personal nature, and even demonstrate personality in many of these in, in many of the same ways that newborn babies do. I get it now. They are persons, but they're still mature adults. Uh, they are not mature adults, but the difference between a person in the womb and adults, they uh, are differences uh, don't really matter. However, these are differences of degree, not differences of kind. We can all point to other people who are bigger, stronger, smarter, and less dependent than we are, but that doesn't make our lives less valuable or less deserving or of protection. That's messed up, but I'm more important than a baby. Well, the right to not be killed supersedes the right to not be pregnant. Uh, rejecting abortion does not imply that the child is more valuable than the mother. Rather, it recognizes that the child uh, has a right to not be killed. Uh, it, it is That right is more fundamental than the woman's right to not be pregnant. That makes sense, but it's my body. Well, from conception onward, pregnancy involves two or more separate bodies. Uh, the slogan "My body, my choice" uh, betrays a tragic mis uh, is a tragic misunderstanding of what is taking place inside the womb. At no point in pregnancy is the developing embryo or fetus simply a part of the mother's body. It is a different and completely it's a different person. So the fetus, I mean the baby, feels pain when it's aborted. Whether or not abortion is a painful experience. In talking about the question of fetal pain, we must remember that it ultimately has no bearing on the morality of abortion. I get it now, but I can afford the baby right now. Again, science and common sense. If I can no longer afford my wife, should I kill her? Of course not, but like me and the majority of women, it's our fault, but what about race? That is the biggest lie. Less than 1%, less than 1% of all U.S. abortions are performed because of rape or incest. Abortion kills almost 25% of the children in America. Abortion kills more human beings in a week than nuclear weapons have killed in a lifetime. In the U.S., roughly 1.21 million abortions take place every year. Almost one in four in California. By Planned Parenthood's own admission, 93% of all abortions performed on healthy mothers are, are performed on healthy mothers and healthy babies. 
In practice, abortion is legal through all nine months in all 50 states of America. About 150,000 late-term abortions occur each year in the U.S. Wait, 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 wait. What? You say late-term abortion is legal in the United States? That's wrong. What are the procedures? Uh, most abortions are performed surgically by vacuuming the embryo and, and fetus out of the uterus. Later term abortions procedures are surgical, use surgical instruments to manually dismember the fetus. The body parts are, are pulled from the fetal body out of the vaginal canal. Would it be bother us more if we use guns? So, where are my uh, pregnancy care centers help eliminate the financial burden of a planned pregnancy. In the U.S. there are thousands of pregnancy care centers which all exist to help women through the emotional and financial stress of an of unplanned pregnancy. Most of, the, most of them provide free financial help all the way through the pregnancy. And if you really do not want to keep the baby, adoption is a perfect solution. You can even take a baby to any firefighter station no questions asked whatsoever. Thank you so much. I, I really, you really clarified all my questions because I didn't know any information about abortions. Unfortunately, most people only know what the media promotes as good, even if they don't have a hint about it. You're right. That's bad. And once again, thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Sure. Oh, and one more thing. This is my only personal opinion. Uh, dump the guy, not the baby. <laughs> okay.